Welcome back to our probably last break for the show. We are interviewing April Garris, whose tragedy and triumph of her life has brought her into full-time ministry and uh, has brought her many, many opportunities to reach people in the porn industry. And not only the porn industry, we're actually going to cover her heart for Mexico. So can April, uh, I'd like to thank you for coming to JMC Live tonight. And I'm real curious as what made you have a heart for Mexico and want to do missions work in Mexico? Well, actually, um, I just have a heart for missions. I just really, um, I just, you know, God has just, you know, really placed a burden on my heart um, just for missions and for just reaching out, you know, beyond our own borders. And how the Mexico thing came about was I was talking to one of my pastors and I was telling him, you know, that I wanted to go on a short-term missions trip. And he said, well, you know, um, there's a church. Um, they do a weekend uh, mission to Mexico, and it's like, wow, that sounds great. So um, I went on one. It's actually through a, a organization called Missions Endeavors. Um, the website is missionsendeavors.org in case anyone's interested. They do, like, missions trip to Israel and Mexico, um, and they're actually getting ready to uh, to build a facility in Mexico, like a training facility. But anyhow, um, I went on a weekend trip back in August, and um, they do it every two months. And um, what we did is we went there, we, we went to Ensenada, excuse me, we stayed there um, Friday and came, Friday, we went Friday and came back Sunday, and it was just, it was, it was amazing. What we did is we, we went to um, a special needs orphanage called the Gabriel House mm -hmm. in Ensenada where they had, um, you know, disabled kids who, kids who've been abandoned by their parents, kids with AIDS, just, you know, these children, and um, it's just, and it, this couple runs it, and they're just, they're amazing. They have such a heart, and they were telling us stories of these kids, and um, we just got to spend time with them and just love on them, and um, it was just, it was it was really great, and I, I really, I really got a lot out of it. You know, you go and you, th you think, well, I'm going to, you know, you know, help the kids there, but they end up blessing you more than you bless them, I think. It was just, you know, just being able to, you know, just play with them and just love on them was just, it was, it was really neat just to hear the, um, the testimony behind the whole, uh, Gabriel house. It was, it was really cool. And, um, so we did that and then, you know, we took supplies there. Um, we took supplies to this other small church and then we went, um, to this other, um, it's like a, a, a domestic violence shelter. Um, we went there and we did a VBS, um, mm -hmm. for the kids. And um, then they they did services for the women there, and um, it was just it was it was awesome. And then we did all that on Saturday, but then um, Sunday we went back to the um, the shelter and uh, we did another church service for them. And um, it's basically just you know encouraging the women there and just you know being able to go and just um, you know uh, minister to the kids. Uh, we you know we brought them supplies too, um, brought them uh, you know funds. Um, stuff like that, so um, that's what we did there, and then we came back, it was just a short three-day trip, but um, it was really, you know, even just three days, God can work tremendously, and they go there every two months, and I haven't been able to go, I wasn't able to go in December, but I I'm, I'm definitely want to go February, um, and um, right now, that's what I'm doing with the Mexico thing, it's, it's, through, um, it's, it's through this missions endeavors, um, and then I was, I'd also eventually like to go to Israel, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and on a short-term missions trip. I really have a heart for missions, and I don't know where God's going to lead me. Um, if he leads me full-time, you know, praise the Lord, but until then, I'm just going to keep going on these short terms. And, and Mexico is just incredible, because, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's very, it's very poor, yet, um, like this church that we delivered the, the, um, the supplies to, very, very poor, yet they have such a joy, and they just have such a love for the Lord, and just so happy to, happy to see us there, and it was just, it, it was great to see, you know, just to know that, you know, we are so blessed, and, you know, people who have very little, and, and I mean, they just, you know, we complain about our own, you know, you know, I can't afford the cable bill this month, or whatever, but you see these people in poverty, and they just love the Lord, and just, um, just, you know, so joyful, and it, it really is, it's really eye-opener, we got to give thanks to the Lord all the time, 
Right. So you said you're going to go to Mexico next month, mm -hmm. and then you're going to Ireland when? Yes, I'm going to Ireland in March. Um, I write, I do writing for a website um, called thepornoffect.com. Um, it's a Catholic website, and I just, it's just basically me talking about, um, I'm, I'm actually doing a series, uh, it's going to be a 10 month series on the 10 myths. Um, exposed about porn. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically me telling about my um, experiences uh, in the porn industry and um, my negative experiences, which pretty much the whole experience was negative. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, absolutely nothing positive about my experience in the porn industry. But I'm on there and, and I'm, I'm talking about, um, uh, you know, the, the whole deception behind porn what it really is, what really happens. But anyhow, um, I'm doing a, a series right now on that website, the uh, 10 Myths of Porn Exposed. Um, and the guy who runs it invited me to go to Ireland, in to Dublin, in March, to help him give uh, talks. Mm -hmm. um, he's an ex-porn addict, and um, he, um, so it's going to be him and me, and we're just going to be giving talks to the men and I'm just going to be relaying my experiences, and um, I've gotten a lot of really good response about it, and, you know, it's really, really helped a lot of men to, to see the light, to see the truth, and, you know, why porn is not glamorous. You know, on the Pink Cross website, it's, it, you know, we lay out all of that. I would just encourage anybody who's struggling with it or who knows somebody to, to go to the Pink Cross, to go to the Pink Cross website because, um, there's a lot of information on there, a lot of testimonies that, you know, so many people have just been totally drawn away from porn because of that. But anyhow, that's what I'm going to um, Ireland for, to, to give talks, and that's going to be in March for about a week um, right. in, in Dublin. And in about a minute and a half, for people that are struggling with porn or in the porn industry, what would you have to say to them right now? For people struggling with porn, I just say, you know, wake up and you know stop viewing it it's not what you think it is it's a fantasy it's it's the whole industry um it's it's fake you know people watch porn and they think that what they're watching is reality but it's not it's fake it's full of abuse it's full of stds there's there's uh, about n there's nothing but negativity in it and for anyone who's struggling with porn i just want to encourage them to go on the pink cross website and look at some of the facts look at um, the testimonies and just to wake up to the reality and it's not edifying to the Lord at all, you know, that is not what he wants, you know he wants to break every stronghold in your life, you know, like he has for me and like he has for anyone else and um, I just I would just encourage them to, to, to wake up and to stop viewing it because they're quenching the Holy Spirit and for anyone who is in the porn industry, um made for you were made for better things than porn you know i i would encourage them to to get out and to um i, I would encourage them to get out and and to seek the lord and because he loves you and he has better things in store for you than pornography and you were you were made for greater things than that you know the lord loves you and he can help you and even if you feel trapped in the industry just know that um don't listen to that. That's a lie. You're not trapped. There is freedom, and I would just encourage you to come to our website, and we have resources there, and you can get whatever help you need. All right, April. I want to thank you for coming to JMC Live. Uh, I'm going to keep April on the phone. We're going to do an after show, so it won't be recorded, and I'm going to have April and I lead prayer, so I really, really suggest people come to the after show. we got a lot more, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with the after show. All right, bye-bye.